Are you sure? I'm willing to do it, but you need to think it through. You'll remain mortal, but you'll find yourself weakened within the Soul Cairn. I know this is difficult for you. I hope you trust me. I'd never do anything that could hurt you. Oh. Good. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. stories about the Soul Cairn, but never thought I'd see it myself. So far, it's about what I imagined. Just what my mother told me. I've also studied a little bit on my own, but there's not much. When something is trapped in a soul gem, and then the energy is used for powering an enchantment, the remnants are sent here. Well, I think it's specifically the black ones. I don't know if the Soul Cairn takes just any leftovers. Look at this place. Do you think anything would want to live here? The only things that can survive here are the ideal masters, the undead, and the souls themselves. Well, if you want to call that living. smell here. Let's try to handle this quickly. This accursed place is nothing but a prison without walls. How could they trick me like this? I was one of Riemann's court wizards! I no longer hunger, grow weary, or feel anything but loneliness. Mother! Mika, it can't be. Serana? 
Is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We are here to stop him. To make everything right. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You. Come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? It pains me to think you'd travel with Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. Coming from one who murders vampires as a trade, I find it hard to believe your intentions are noble. Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. When I fled Castle Volcar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's Bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Swan, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, She'd be dying for the good of all vampires. And how exactly do you plan on stopping him? No, I will not allow that to happen. The Elder Scrolls only tell of events that might be, not events that will be. You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. Whether or not you've become one of us in order to survive the Soul Cairn, you're still a vampire hunter at heart. You're here because we're abominations in your mind. Evil creatures that need to be destroyed. Serana? This stranger aligns herself with those that would hunt you down and slay you like an animal. Yet I should entrust you to her. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known her than you've done in centuries. How dare you! I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father! Yes, he's a fanatic. He's... changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? So, if you'd only open your eyes... The moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger! So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you two. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. But for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. 
Yes. I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevir roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. When I entered the Soul Cairn, I had intended to strike a bargain with the Ideal Masters, the custodians of this place. I requested refuge in the Soul Cairn, and in exchange, I would provide the Ideal Masters the souls that they craved. If I had foreseen the value they placed on my own soul, I would never have come here. The Ideal Masters unleashed their keepers and sent them to destroy me. Fortunately, I was able to hold them at bay and retreat into these ruins. Unfortunately, yes. Since the Keepers weren't able to claim my soul, they had their minions construct a barrier that I'd never be able to breach. Time has very little meaning to me. Consequently, it has little meaning to the Ideal Masters as well. I suppose you could call this the ultimate waiting game each watching the other, to see which will give in. I know very little about them. They're mystic entities that lord over the Soul Cairn, controlling every aspect from its fabric to its appearance. Well, some necromancers believe they are the crystalline structures dotting the Soul Cairn. I believe there's more to it than that. I think they transcend what we perceive as a physical form. Perhaps they were once corporeal beings, but they've obviously reached a point where they no longer require a tangible presence. Conduits, through which the Ideal Masters speak to their underlings and feed on their victims. The Ideal Masters' weakness is their insatiable hunger for pure souls. It's the reason for the Soul Cairn's existence, and the only leverage a necromancer has when bargaining with them. The ability to summon powerful undead guardians, as one would conjure an Atronach or Daedra. However, the majority of necromancers that are foolish enough to enter into a bargain with the Ideal Masters wind up here, as harvested souls. Harkon's vision is a world plunged in eternal darkness, where the vampire can flourish, and never again fear the tyranny of the sun. What he fails to realize is how much attention would be called to our kind if the prophecy came to fruition. If eternal night fell, there are many who wouldn't stand for it. They would raise armies in attempts to return things to normal. The order of the day would be our destruction until every last vampire was hunted down and eliminated. I do. It's how the vampire has survived for millennia, and the only way we can continue to survive in the future. Be careful, and keep my daughter safe. Let's kill those keeper things and get back to the prison.
You managed to destroy all three keepers? Very impressive. Yes. Please follow me. Keep watch for Dernavir. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate. Astonishment, but I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. Volumes written on Dernavir allege that he can't be slain by normal means. It appears they were mistaken. Unless... The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's scaly hide. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernavir's physical form, but he reconstitutes himself. Minutes? Hours? Years? I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll and you can be on your way. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your way. If there's anything I can do before you depart, you must let me know. So my daughter applied some of the lessons I taught her about necromancy, did she? Don't worry. I think I can help you. Your soul essence was trapped inside a gem. When you and Serana entered the soul cairn, it was given to the ideal masters as payment. You simply need to retrieve the gem. The moment you touch it, your soul essence will be restored. There's an offering altar not terribly far from here. I'm willing to bet that the gem you're looking for is there. Is there anything else? Could be the last chance.
I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Paul Harper. If I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of the sun to Russia. I appreciate your concern for me, but Serana is all that I care about. You must keep her safe at all costs. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only thing of value I have left. Have anything to ask before you depart. As you've been traveling in the Soul Cairn, your body has become attuned to it. Let's just say a tiny part of you rubbed off on it, and in its place, a bit of the Soul Cairn filled the void. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. Farewell. Remember that Harkon's not to be trusted.
What is it? Dexian said something about that scroll. What was it? Something to do with dragons, I think. Maybe we should try asking at the College of Winterhold. Sounds like something they'd know about. I can't say it surprises me. I kind of figured we were heading for this someday. I just didn't know when. If. I've been assuming that's where all this is going. I've been trying to make my peace with it. Come on, we can talk about this another time. I'm no fan of the sun, but it would be better than this. You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. Now, do you require assistance? And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. Of course. I'll bring everything we have on them. But it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Fight well. Here you go. Try not to spill anything on them. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Aye, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls, but, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. Somewhere up north, in the ice fields. He said he found some old Dwemer artifact, but well, that was years ago. Ugh, haven't heard from him since. What now? Oh, all right. Goodbye, then. Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. It's going to stay pristine, understand? Of course I do. If I didn't, most of these books would have been burned to ashes or dissolved to nothing before the Third Era. Mages need to be reminded to be careful around research materials. Until next time.
when the top level was built, eh? no more could be placed. It was and is the maximal apex. Elder Scrolls, indeed. The Empire, they absconded with them. Or so they think. The ones they saw. <laughs> the ones they thought they saw. I know of one. Forgotten. Sequestered. But I cannot go to it. Not poor Septimus. For I, I have arisen beyond its grasp. Oh, I am well. I will be well. Well to be within the will inside the walls. Here. Well here as in this plain. Mondas, Tamriel, nearby. Relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. One block lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in return. You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep, Tower Mzark. Oftan, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. Two things I have for you. Two shapes, one edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle, and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Find Mazark and its Sky Dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. The deepest doors of Dwemer listen for singing. It plays the attitude of notes proper for opening. Can you not hear it? Too low for hearings? To glimpse the world inside an Elder Scroll can damage the eyes or the mind as it has to Septimus. The Dwemer found a loophole as they always do to focus the knowledge away and inside without harm. Place the lexicon into their contraption, and focus the knowings into it. When it brims with glow, bring it back, and Septimus can read once more. <laughs>